Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be uh, kind of talking to you guys about the secret project that I've been working on since last year and that I ended up doing in January. So let's get started. Okay, so the secret project that I had been working on since January was that I competed in the Miss Massachusetts USA pageant. It is so weird to say that out loud. So weird that it actually happened. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in the summer of last year, I got in touch with the Clemente organization, who are the people who run the Miss Maine and Miss Massachusetts pageants, and they offered me to come for an or to go to an information session all um, in their office in Malden, and I did. Um, I wanted to go and just go to the information session, see what it was about, and then kind of make a video about my experience about going um, to an information like a Miss like Massachusetts in this case, like a Miss State pageant. Um, and in the information session, they kind of tell you how the pageant goes. And they tell you that whoever wins the pageant will go to Miss USA, go to Miss USA representing the state of Massachusetts. And if you win, you go to the Miss Universe pageant representing the USA. So you get to see a little bit of the previous year's um, pageant and then they actually had interviews and they asked me if I wanted to interview I'm like sure I went and my interview was with Boy who is Mrs. Clemente and one of the owners and we talked for a little bit she asked me why I would do it um, and she asked me what I would gain from it and it was a really nice conversation and at the end she's like I feel that you would fit well do you want to participate and they gave me the information and told me I didn't know if I wanted to do it or not. They told me to think about it. So I brought my information home, read through it, took a couple of days, and decided to go forward with it. So once I decided to go forward with it, I had to think what I was going to wear because the pageant requires three outfits, three major outfits. So your opening number which is a black cocktail dress, your swimsuit, which could be a bikini or a one piece, um, print, solid, whatever you like, and then your evening gown. So that's kind of your three major things. But you also have to think you have a fourth half, which is what you go in uh, dressed, when you go dressed in, which is your interview outfit. But then you need an outfit for the next day as well. If you're changing in between after your interview and you need your nightgown because you're sleeping with a roommate. So I didn't know anything about pageants. Through this entire thing, I met our the social media coordinator and the one who communicates with everything, which is Samantha, and I love her to death. We've become really good friends. I love Sam. Um, and I bothered Sam quite a lot <laughs> with questions because she was Miss Maine, I believe 2013-14, I'm not, I don't remember which year, but um, so she's been through this. She's gone to state and I bothered her a lot with questions and I just was using so I had a cocktail dress black kind of, kind of a little um, LBD then that's the one I ended up using and I went to Target and found a couple of swimsuits that I bought and I ended up with a red one piece because yes I love myself but 100% I'm not okay with a bikini in front of people for judgment especially because i know they were going to go i mean these amazingly women have been training their lives for this i was going just for the experience not to win and there's people i met there who had participated five six seven times so i was in that league but i also wanted to get my all and then evening i was where i kind of was stuck because i didn't want to spent a lot of money on a dress that I was going to wear one time. I don't use evening dresses. I don't have opportunities to use them anyway. Um, but I started, honestly, I got mine from Macy's and I got it on sale. Um, and I had a coupon for it, so it ended up being 
very fairly cheap but it was a plain dress it was high low it was kind of like a burgundy color it didn't do anything special for me looking at the pictures but it made me feel, made me feel like a queen and I still love that dress so that was my dress um, um, I love that my dress had pockets and I didn't know until after I bought it that it had pockets which is great but um, I ended up getting all of my wardrobe by maybe beginning of October I had everything already and what I did is I didn't go on a diet like I didn't go on a diet and I didn't do an exercise regime but I kind of started watching what I was eating a little bit more so I started eating a little bit healthier and I started walking more I started taking the stairs instead of my elevators I walked more at work you know I made little changes here and there that made me maintain because I had already lost about 30 pounds at work just because I used to have a job where I was sitting at a desk for 8 hours and my job now requires me to pretty much run everywhere for 8 hours so I had lost a lot of weight so I just wanted to maintain that but that kind of was what happened we had another like practice session I believe it was end of October and I met a lot of the girls I was going to compete against and I met a lot of the girls who were competing in Maine um, I met a couple of friends that day and um, yeah that kind of made me feel better because I had never walked in heels. Oh, that was the other thing I had to buy, heels. I do not wear heels at all. Maybe a kitten heel here and there, but I had to learn to walk in heels. So that was the one thing I didn't use. I did practice, not as much as I should have, grant you that, but I did practice how to walk in heels because I had to buy heels with a huge platform. It was four inch heels with a platform, which I had never done before. But in that information, set, like that practice session, they made us walk, they showed us how to walk and they let us walk on the stage which made me feel a little bit more comfortable knowing what it felt like to wear my heels on the stage but uh yeah so then as you've heard on the other video i had my crazy month of running around so i did not practice at all i did not have healthy eating style for about a month prior to the pageant of all times because i went to new york there's, there's just fast food like we pretty much ate McDonald's and New York style pizza the entire time and Chick-fil-A. That was all we ate. And then went to Puerto Rico. It is literally everything's fried. Everything has 20,000 spices in it. Everything is just heavy on fat and like oils and everything. So I had that and then I had the week I was at work to kind of do a cleanse. So I ended up just having which is the most i had ever done in my life apart from the k-pop one that i did and this was kind of based on that it was um apple for breakfast i had a um kind of like hunger stopping slim shake for um lunch every day and then i had chicken with either rice and a little bit of salad every day that was my dinner for a whole week just to kind of take away the blood so a little bit about pageant weekend um you gotta be pageant ready when you show up for registration like you gotta have full interview outfit full interview makeup when you register so i woke up extremely early because i had to get an uber there I woke up extremely early to get my makeup done because pretty much the makeup you have done for an interview, you just intensify for pageant preliminaries. You don't honestly have the time to take off full makeup, shower, and do full makeup again. You kind of shower from here down and you intensify your makeup. And that's what you do use for preliminaries. So got on a cab, sorry, got on Uber and got there, registered. And that's when you say bye to your family. You ain't seen them until that night when you see them for five minutes and then you go into lockdown because that's how it is so you get there you check in you put your stuff in the like predetermined room because rooms are not ready it's so early in the morning rooms are not ready and then you go inside you have a little meeting with the parents because remember teen is teen and miss are both competing at the same time so you have teens there they are um underage parents have to be there so we have a meeting with them, we say bye to our parents, bye to our friends, and we go on lockdown to rehearse. We rehearse opening number like 14,000 times. 
rehearse where to stand when you're doing your presentation, when you say your name. We rehearse how to do the little dance, which is embarrassing. <laughs> we rehearse where to stand when you're doing, like where to kind of like how to walk around the stage when you're in a swimsuit and an evening gown. But you rehearse opening number 20,000 times. That's the thing you rehearse the most. At some point during rehearsals, they take us out five by five because we go by numbers and numbers are alphabetical. So you put us by alphabetical number and you get a number. I was number 63. Um, I was the third one in the Miss category. Um, so they take us five by five into interviews, which is another section with a panel of judges. And before you get there and after you kind of pay your original fee to kind of save your spot, they send you a paper form to fill with a bunch of questions that are about you and you answer as truthfully as possible and they give that to the judges and some read it some don't and they'll ask you questions about you during that interview you kind of have to show them who you are and you get two minutes to express who you are with one or two questions which is nerve-wracking um uh, mine was okay I, so i like the interview portion i actually found it fun um, um so we go back to rehearsals we have a break after that to be like okay so you have five minutes to bring your stuff to your room you bring your stuff to your room you leave your dresses down I mean, you're even like they're your opening number dress but your swimsuit and your evening gown stays down the stairs you bring everything up and then you go back down more rehearsals break for lunch come back to rehearsals mind you during these entire rehearsals everybody's doing interviews i just got my was in the first group for interviews um and then once we are all done with interviews and rehearsals then you go upstairs and you take a shower. Mind you, you have a room, so you have to coordinate who's gonna take a shower first, yada, yada, yada. So you take a shower, you do your makeup a little, like change it up if you need to change it up, do your, change your hair if you need to change it, put your preliminary, sorry, put your opening number dress on and go downstairs by a specific time, go to the um, back room or like dressing room. And from there, competition starts. You do the full thing, you do your opening number, you present yourself, you go backstage and hurriedly change it to your uh, swimsuit, go do swimsuit competition, run to, run backstage and change it to evening gown, do evening gown. And that's it for the night. Then you get about a 10 minute break to go see your family, which ended up being like five minutes because we were running late, so they cut it short. You grab your stuff and go upstairs, go to bed. There is a lockdown and they will like we had three different people knock on our door to figure out if me and my roommate Joe were in the room. Yeah, <laughs> it's really intense. Then you wake up in the morning, you have set time, you have to get ready, again, makeup ready because you don't have time, you gotta check out, so you don't have time to shower, you don't have time to actually change your makeup that much for the, like the actual competition, like the finals. Go downstairs with whatever outfit you chose for the day. I ended up choosing to be very comfortable and I went on a literally leggings and a sports bra and a jacket. <laughs> a lot of people, there are awards like dress, like best dressed and Miss Photogenic and um, Miss Congeniality. I did not want to go for any of them. So like when you go downstairs the next day or a lot of people were like dressed in nines because they want that best dressed award. Um, Miss Photogenic, you have to bring an extra picture professionally done and pay to go on that competition I decided not to do it and then Miss Congeniality they make us kind of vote for it but we don't have time to meet everybody so it's just I'm assuming anybody who has three votes it's the most votes that wins <laughs> so I'm not sure how but um so literally again we get to rehearsal rehearse the opening number 20,000 times again at this time you actually rehearse how you would stand when they're calling a finalist. Um, and you have a couple of girls who are picked and just randomly, they just said random numbers, and they kind of go through the pageants. Like, I think they pick 12, like 12 semi-finalists. And when we bring it down to five and questions and how everything goes so that we all, and we all pay, we have to pay attention because if you're called, you need to know what to do. So they teach us all of that. And then we have a late brunch. 
and after brunch we do one final rehearsal like a final run through really fast and then we go upstairs to grab our stuff because we have to check out and that means bringing everything into the dressing rooms there is no space in dressing rooms to begin with so imagine all the luggage there not fun and then when you're in dressing rooms so you go in like there's rehearsals still going on while they send us by groups to get stuff and everybody's checked out we go backstage mind you the second day like the finals it's or like the actual show is earlier than the preliminaries because for prelims pretty much everybody's staying overnight for finals we all are going home afterwards so you go backstage and you get dressed and so once you get dressed you, if you have your makeup and you're gonna do final touches you can do final touches but you don't have time to do all your makeup you compete like you do the, like the first opening number normal and then you'll stand in the stage and they call semi-finalists and then semi-finalists keep competing you don't do if you don't if you're not a finalist you will not do swimwear you go automatically to your final gown and they do a final walk which is where they mix all the miss and the teens and you all walk together on the stage so that they see you for the last time and then they keep going to do interviews and then they pick the winners i did not make finalists which is a okay with me because i don't wear heels i literally was about to fall my feet hurt so much they were trembling i thought i was gonna lose my balance while i was waiting for finalists to be called i wanted it to be done um my roommate jill actually it was a finalist so the entirety of the rest of the competition i was backstage literally without shoes on um rooting for joe joe got third finalist when they say pageants are crazy they are crazy but at least in the pageant that I was in, my experience was all positive. I cannot say anything negative that I found, um, apart from the fact that I would like more food. But the food that they gave us was actual food. It wasn't just like lettuce. Like they actually give you food. They give you carbs, which I was not expecting. It was a pleasant surprise. I There's always one or two girls that are too focused and obsessed with winning, and that's normal. But I would say most girls are actually really nice and really is a sisterhood. When they say there's a sisterhood in pageantry, that is very true. Everybody kind of tries to help each other out. Everybody's sipping people up, sipping people down, helping with bug glue. I need a mirror. I need a brush. I need tape. I need something. Everybody's saying like, here, I have a tape. Here, I have tissues. Here, I have this. Here, I have that. So everybody's really, really good at sharing and helping each other out. And you lift each other up. You help the person in front of you with their train. You tell them when the hair is out of place. You tell them if their strap is falling off and things like that. So it, it was a great experience. Um, for me, pageantry is not for me. I am not a glitz and glamorous girl. Uh, although I felt amazing and I kind of loved it. I've always loved being on stage, even though I have never done anything like that. I wouldn't do it again I like having had that experience and being able to say I was a miss contestant once in my life is good um, the irony of all of this is that my sister always said she wanted to compete in pageants she wanted to be Miss Universe and she never did I told her to do it she doesn't want to and I said that I would never compete in a beauty pageant ever in my life no matter what and here I am after competing in one and it was to be Miss Mass it wasn't like any small pageant it went on a big pageant it doesn't matter if you're skinny or have curves it doesn't matter if you're latina or african-american or um, asian or whatever descent you are you are going to be great they don't care about that you just have to be you you have to show them that you really want to be there you have to show them that you love it that you're confident because it's confidently beautiful that's their thing and i appreciate that and it's women empower women they love that and that's why i love this experience so um now i'm going to show you my goodie bag they do give you a goodie bag after prelims so let's see that so this is the bag they keep us it is the official miss usa with the puppy right miss team usa and it has a little belt here a zipper here with a compartment and then it's pull string so i came with all of these um, magazine so we have our Miss Mass with last year's winners Kelly O'Grady and Annie Wu and then we have Cape Cod travel guide we have 
trolley tour. We have pageantry, the magazine, and then they give us a little bit of goodies. So we got the my let's see if it my toy boy mascara, which is uh, Diego de la Palma. It's like the Miss Rita, who was our makeup artist. She loves this, so she gave us each some. Then we got uh, Rodan and Fields skincare information. So got the different regimens. And then we got the sample. So we got the daily cleansing mask. We got, got the lip renewing serum and then the intensive renewing serum. Um, so these are from the same people who do proactive. And then we have the information. Kristen was our um, representative for this. She was also a pageant girl. Um, we got $50 off from Creative Sparks, who is the official photographer, and they are amazing, amazing couple. They're really nice. Got this um, cute little sponge applicator from Fantasy Cosmetics. It is a latex free angled blending sponge that we got. Um, we also had gotten a granola bar, a bottle of water, and a chocolate chip cookie. Those all disappeared the night after the preliminaries because I ate them. And then we would get our official pictures. So it is a beautiful crown pen. How did I not notice this? Look how pretty that is. That's all actual sparkle. It's a little pen. So it is beautiful. I just noticed it. So that was our kind of gift bag that we got after preliminaries okay guys so that was my goodie bag um thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions about pageantry feel free to um leave a comment below also i will post some of the pictures on instagram so feel free to leave a comment on my instagram and like it i'm gonna put my instagram handle here so that you guys can go check those out um so thank you so much for watching please click the like button so that you i know that you like videos like this um please click the notification bell to get notified when i post which is hopefully weekly on thursdays and click the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel thank you so so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye guys